Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kev Tech here bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Sunday. And today I want to go over uh, how to use Soho remote application. Why do we use remote applications? How to get into someone's machine and how to install unattended remote application using Soho. So if you're new to my channel, uh, I do a lot of IT videos on different things. IT support, desktop support, help desk. Uh, you guys don't know what to do. Rate, comment, subscribe. Really appreciate it. All right. So I'm gonna share my screen. I'm gonna go over how to remote into someone's machine using Soho and how to install the unattended application on Soho and what you could do with it and why do we do it, you know? So let me share my screen real quick. Uh, screen one. So right now I'm, in, I'm on this computer. I created a VM called Windows 10. And typically if you guys know anything about IT support, help desk, desktop support, we, we have a tendency of Helping people log in, helping people, helping people by remoting in and fixing their issues. There's a lot of it right now is uh, there's still like a pandemic going on. So you may have to remote into someone's machine or they are probably working from home. So typically on, from my personal experience, I'm going based on my experience. Um, you would go into your browser right here. It's, if it's TeamViewer, it's TeamViewer, whatever app you're using. Uh, uh, SSCM is a little different. SSCM, you right click and you can just go on the machine. But if you're using like BoomGuard or TeamView or something, you got to give them some sort of session, right? So I hit start now. It says starting support session. And then I got to go to the desktop, right? And I got to go to that, that uh, website. I got to go to join.soho.com. You see, I already did it already before. Then I got to go here and I got to give them a session key or session number. 124, 124, 124, interesting. Uh, and it's going to be Alex. And then I'm going to join session, right? And then it's going to ask me if I want to download the application, which is totally fine. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to hit, you need admin rights for this. It's going to prompt for admin rights. You hit yes. And then you get into the person's machine. And you get in there. You just give it a second. It's trying to download the installer. And waiting for a connection right now on the bottom right-hand side. You see it's trying to connect me to the computer. And I'm on it. Like, it's waiting for confirmation. Are you gonna? Are you? Are you okay? With that? He's about to remote into your machine. Yeah, join. Let it, let him join. All right. So now, uh, wrong one. Now, um, I'm on the machine. So I could do. I could do whatever I want. I could get in here. Um, I could do. I could invite another technician. I could invite. I could share my screen. I could disable input so then he can't type anything. So if I do this, um. Disable your inputs. Like, do you want to allow it, right? And then I'm here. I'm, I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna close out of it, right? So it's like they can't type anything. Because sometimes what happens is when you remote into someone's machine, they're trying to move at the same time. And, oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know you were moving because I'm moving too. You know. So you, that's why they have this option here. Uh, yeah. Reboot. Quick launch. So actually, you could go in here. You go to add and remove programs. Command prompt. Computer management. Control panel, device manager. There's like so many things you could do here, right? This is obviously this is not a free version. This is a full licensed version that I have. And if one, if you like, you want you could throw files in here. So you hit allow, right? And it's trying to do something. And I could actually send files to him. So I've had send. I could actually go here and, and send a, a picture or whatever, right? So it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool application. Um, some companies may use this. That's why I'm going over it today. Um. This one is cool. I could just reboot the machines. So I go here and I could do reboot, reboot yes, yes reboot it, and it's gonna to try to reboot it. So if you see here, it says sign out. It's signing signing Alex out right now. Right, it's trying to restart, and it's still trying to reboot. Right, let's give it a second. See, so it says his request to disable the user's input has been denied. I obviously get closed out of it, but it's rebooting right now. Right. And the cool thing about this, like it's like Bumguard, right? Good thing about this Bumguard and this, these other applications is that while you could restart it, uh, the session it's restarting, yes, right? It's rebooting. But the cool thing about it is that it goes back to where you were once you're once it's done rebooting. So maybe the users log in again, maybe they're not, and uh, the PC should come back up again on your screen of the user that you're helping. So it's a really cool application. That's why I like it. And it's just Kevin's joining, is logging me in. This is very boot boot up in process. Boot up, done, and reconnecting, and then it says reconnected, right? So now I'm back on the machine again. I can move around. So maybe because maybe because I don't want I don't want that person to I want that I want that person to to um, 
have uh, the application, the Soho application on this machine. So maybe I should install it on this machine. Maybe I should install the unattended application on it because obviously they're doing a lot of stuff. I could chat with him too. We have the chat, we have the chat box on the right hand side. And that's pretty much it for this application. And if you do quick launch, you have that. Administration task, you have that. You have that. You have files. So I could actually go here. Um, I'm gonna close out of that. And I'm gonna end the session that I have with him. I'm gonna leave. And then I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna close out the session and I'm gonna hit okay. So you see how 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 hard it is for me to remote it. What if the person's not tech savvy, right? So I'm gonna stop for a second and I'm gonna go over that real quick with you. So I'm gonna do is let me end the session right here. I, I ended it, so the session's completely gone. So I hit start now, right? And obviously, some people are not are not tech savvy and they don't know what you're saying. So if you get stuck in an issue like that, let me stop sharing. You if you get stuck in an issue like that, and you gotta you gotta know, like you know, there's like letters and there's letters and everything, right? So what you do is you do, you do it differently. Instead, you you, you go here. You say, uh, uh, so go to join at They don't understand you, right? So you say, okay, go to go to uh, join. Uh, uh, J for Javier, O for Oxygen, I for Eglu, N for Nancy. Dot Zebra Soho. So Soho. So, uh, Z for Zebra, O for Oxygen, uh, H for Haley, O for Oxygen. Dot com, and then. They log in and then that's it. That's, that's, that's the easiest way to do it. So you give them letters with names because otherwise they're not going to understand you. So you're going to have people that have stronger accents, people that don't understand what you're saying. Maybe the, your accent is a little off. So that's how you do it. You say, okay, A for, a, a for Apple, N for Nancy, uh, T for Troy. You know, that's how you would do it if you're helping the user. So now that I've that I done explaining that, right? I'm gonna share my screen one more time and I'm gonna show you how to install the unattended application. So what you do is you go in here, right? Uh, you type Soho, right? So I'm gonna go here. Type Soho in there. Log in. I'm already logged in, by the way. Usually, I get that I had a login. You need admin rights for this, obviously. So I'm gonna hit assist, and it has one. I'm gonna end this session. I don't need this, All right? And I'm gonna go to unattended access, right? And it says here you could do group policy and a bunch of other things. We're not gonna do that today. We're just gonna download the installer. I'm gonna download the installer, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it, and. I'm gonna install that. I'm gonna install that that bad boy real quick, right? See that in a second. Am I aware of the consequences? Blah blah blah. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So you may have to do this for a, a user or a client that has a laptop or a desktop, and it may be like uh, it may be uh, SSCM, uh, my, uh, Microsoft management tool. It may be. Um, Bum guard, it may be something else, maybe team viewer. So when that's done, right? I'm gonna close out of this. It's actually installed already. You see it here. So if I go to my browser, right, right over here, close out of that, and I go here, it should be there. And then if someone's having an issue and I'm like, Kev, Kev, I, I I can't get I need help on my outlook right now. Can you fix it for me? Yeah, sure. Let me connect real quick. And you're connecting right now. And you connect, you connect on their machine. Without without them without them clicking, do you want to allow these changes? Blah blah blah. blah. No. Instead, you just directly remote in. Obviously, you get permission for that. But this is a tool that you will use. You do unintended um, access, and you remote into their machine. And you take care of their problems, and then they should be good to go after that. So, and that's it. That's pretty much it. I just wanted to share that tool with you. I wanted to talk about that application because a lot of companies use these third party apps to remote into someone's machine. And you need to know how to remote in, but also you need to understand what you're saying. So that's why we use alphabetical uh, letters when we're talking. And then it's much easier for both you, both you and the person that you're helping to understand what you're saying. And that is the unattended application. You can just remote in. They don't have to, if you install it, they're good to go after that. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Take care. Peace. Bye.